Hi, my name is David Bello. I'm a simulation engineer at McLaren Applied Technologies, and I'd like to talk to you about some of the work we've been doing specialized on road bikes. What you see here is a specialized S-Works McLaren Venge, uh, one of the first projects we worked with specialized. And the way we were involved with specialized was uh, many folds. Uh, we were involved with aerodynamics, uh, the composites, so the, the materials that go into the frame, um, and actually the whole dynamics of the, of the bike, so how the bike rides over uh, the road, how it brakes, how it reacts when you pedal, how it reacts when you steer, all to make the bike go faster. So Specialized came to us and asked us the question, how can we make, how can we make this bike go faster? And the way we tackled that problem was um, to take a design of a bike that they already had designed, but in fact look at the manufacturing of the carbon fiber, and the layup of how the fibers are laid up on the frame. So it won't look very different to you uh, if you compare this to the actual bike it was based on, uh, but inside, the, the way that the fibers were laid up were, uh, allowed us to take about 10% of the weight aft, uh, out of the frame and about 50% stiffness on top. Uh, but the work goes much deeper than that. So using simulation tools and models that we developed to predict the way that the bike was going to react to different pedaling and different steering inputs from the rider, we were able to make comments onto uh, perhaps we don't need the fork to be as stiff as, it, as we thought it did because if we make it softer it can ride over the bumps easier and the rider doesn't need to pedal as hard when it's going over that bump. And that all translates into marginal gains. So after a stage of the Tour de France you may have spent hundreds of watts less than you would have otherwise if you had a stiffer fork. And we wouldn't be able to know that if it wasn't for simulation tools that we've developed with Specialized. Uh, the same is true for uh, other things other than the bike. So we developed a helmet for Specialized. And it was a helmet that wasn't just designed to be very slippery through the wind. It wasn't just designed so that the coefficient of drag was lower, but it was also designed so that it would take into account the fact that the rider, uh, when you're riding, you're not just in one position. So you're looking around and you're looking for other riders that may be overtaking you and that has an impact um, onto the drag that that helmet creates. So in our analysis we actually looked at the way that the rider was moving and what that meant in terms of drag and designed a helmet that looks not just at the straight line position but also those movements. Uh, so it was really the case of looking at from, from an entire approach of looking at the rider movements, the bike, how the bike reacts and not just looking at single snapshots but how everything comes together.